Well, thank you to True Tone for the demonstration pieces here. Yeah. I have no idea what's in the, where is it? Box. <laughs> so we're all looking at this together. I mean, I think a couple other uh, folks on YouTube uh, also got some samples too. So, yes. but there's a difference between seeing it in person and seeing it on film. Yeah. So I believe these are supposed to be a prototype of mini lights that are operating on Derrick current. So there should be no flicker, which has always been my one of my biggest complaints with the LED Christmas lights. The issue that I have, um, you know, the flicker is frustrating, but what I find a little bit more frustrating, and Alec from Technology Connections, which I'm sure most of your viewers probably also watch him, um, is the colors aren't really quite right. Um, they, they have the clear bulbs looking pretty good, but the... Um, the multicolor don't really look quite right. Oh, they wrote us a nice letter here. Hand signed too. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, by the uh, owners. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's really neat to be a part of stuff yeah. like this when when the company is actually a good company yeah. worth buying from. I get so many uh, uh, like emails and requests from like these garbage companies that wanted me to advertise trash products. And this, although I wasn't able to use the lights previously because of the flicker, which is just a personal preference, I think this is a great company, and I really hope it becomes the next big thing in Christmas lights, because this this would significantly improve people's displays that are using the LEDs. Oh, for sure. Because some of the displays just look so awful nowadays. Yeah, the, the monochrome colors are just too intense, and you know they also, as we said, they flicker. All right. Which most people probably aren't bothered by that, but uh, oh, that's very convincing. Uh, like yeah. the bulb looks like it's the right shape and everything. So it says flicker free, which I've seen on many packages, and it's often a lie. But this time, I think it'll actually be true. And this is why. This right, because it runs right here. on direct current. So from a technical perspective, this should actually be mm. flicker free. Mm -hmm. I really like the box that it's in. Yeah, the box looks really cool. It has yeah, true look tone. To it. True Tone is very good with the packaging. That's why I was mentioning about the, that C7 string I have. The, the package is really neat on that as well. It's even hey. got the old school thin wiring on it too, which oh, is wow. pretty cool. Oh wow, that's really neat. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got some spare bulbs in there too, which is pretty mm. cool. And here's the magical answer so this is 24 volts uh dc wow that's uh 12 watts and something this small is pretty impressive yeah so you probably can connect quite a few of these together yeah there's probably some informations in this uh let me just make sure this is something i can read um let's see here So we got this uh, great letter from, I want to say David, let me just double check. Uh, yes, David, thank you for, uh, for the sample here. Our mini lights are among the most challenging products we've ever developed. We tried multiple approaches and various solutions to industry-wide shortcomings. Amusingly, some of our abandoned developments have ended up in competing products. That's interesting. The result of our efforts is a nostalgic string of joyful colors with that peachy glow we hope you find as satisfying as we do. Perhaps best of all, we have gone to extra effort to make them truly 100% free of flicker. True Tone Mini Lights operate using a small 24 volt DC power supply, and you can connect up to five sets, which is 500 lights, continuously end to end with the included supply. While other mini lights claim to be flicker free, it's really just a reduction in flicker. Yep, the smaller, yeah, the smaller the point of light, the more flickering is perceptible. So it was important to us to eliminate it entirely. We have a sample string in our shop, and many folks immediately comment on the lack of flicker unprompted. Hmm. We opted for plastic covers because they were developed alongside our new Dura bulbs using a patented UV-resistant polycarbonate. The color is integral and won't scratch or flake off, yellow or fade. Technical details aside, we hope you'll enjoy True Tone's first mini lights. We think they are industry-changing and will be sold for $29.95 for a string of 100 lights, power supply included. Lights are spaced every four inches, which is pretty far apart by today's standards. That's reasonable, yeah. Um, and $30 for a string of lights like this is totally worth it. Yeah, if these last, which I mean they should be the yell, the, you know, sort of from maybe water issues or that, you know, um, the water getting in there, which could ruin them. But um, if these last as long as they should, then that's, that's a pretty good deal.
I really liked it. It's a thinner wire. I didn't even, yeah. I was not expecting that. And full disclaimer, um, these are not available yet to the general public, but anybody interested in them can sign up for a notification email at true-tone.com slash new, N-E-W. Also, full disclaimer, we're not paid to show these. No. That, that's the funny thing is I was just going to ask, like, where could you find these? Because I haven't, I haven't seen them anywhere, now, but obviously nowhere. We didn't buy these either. Right. Yeah, these they these them were sent for evaluation, yeah. but... Yeah. And I normally don't entertain that, but because I like this company, I think it's a good company not looking for us to lie about it, I'm showing it. I literally will get emails from companies that just say to lie about the product, and I, w I will not show that on this channel, but this nowhere in there did it say, there was no prompts to say anything at all. No, these are a, a great group of individuals, and uh, wow, mm. those look great. There's no flicker. Whoa. Yeah. And if I tell you there's no flicker, there's, there's no, no flicker. There is no <laughs> flicker. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty respectable. And it's kind of interesting because they're not all the same brightness. So the red isn't as bright as the rest of the colors, as would be the case on a traditional set of incandescents. Right. The only very nitpicky thing I would say is I wish that the, and I'm saying this in air quotes, filament was a little bit higher up towards mm. the center like the, uh, the incandescents are. But the, uh, the amber looks really nice. The purple looks really nice. The green is suspiciously brighter than the rest, but the color looks perfect. The blue is not vibrant, so it's a little bit washed out, just like an incandescent would be. Mm -hmm. um, and the red is, is a pretty deep, rich red. I, I do like them. I think that this, this is going to be a really nice product. Mm. Now, I will say, I can tell these not incandescent. Mm -hmm. I think there is a slight harshness to some of the optics. A little bit, yeah. Um, and again, I'm in the you know top 0.1% of pickiness about lights. Um, but that being said, and I've talked about this before with other DEL strings, although this isn't fooling me, this is nice to look at. And if I saw a display with these all over the yard, it would be a very attractive display. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how my own equipment works. So if we look at these on the table, and this, this is where a lot of LED lights I've, I've tested fail, the optics are not omnidirectional. So when you put these on a, a tree or a house or whatever, they don't light up the area around it. These do. This lights up the area around it just like a regular string of incandescent bulbs would. Yeah, it disperses the light very nicely. Let me get my hand out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, this is really quite decent. And there is definitely no flicker, which has pretty consistently been one of my biggest complaints about these things. There is zero flicker whatsoever. I can't see it in person, and there's no banding on the camera. So, David, if you're watching, you know, number one, thank you. Um, and number two, like I said, super nitpicky. Um, the only thing, like I said, that I would change about them is just moving the LED a little bit further up, um, which I think is probably doable. Yeah. I, I don't know the mechanical design of this entirely, but LEDs don't have a tremendous amount of mass to them. So I would imagine that, you know, if you lengthen the wires of the LED, it probably won't cantilever and break internally. Uh, but I don't know what the internal construction looks like. I don't know if this is injection molded and the LEDs in there or if it's hollow. Um, but uh, it, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, so I'm curious now to see a couple of things to note here. This does have the, the little um, oh, yeah. clamp for preventing the bulb from coming loose. And in my opinion, like the Frank's lights that have this, yep. <laughs> this does make a significant difference in the reliability of the string long term. Uh, but let's see if we open this up here. What does it look like? Yeah, I, it's, I'm glad you pointed that out because that, that's also a really good feature of it. Okay, so the caps come off first. Oh, and there's the longer base to help with um, the, the water resistance of the... Uh, oh, wow. So what happens is when this, when this is inserted into the base, 
it attempts, it's not perfect, but it attempts to kind of seal the space. Because if you look right there, you can see right through it. Lighting's see through the table. Muted here. Um, this will kind of close that gap and try to prevent the rain from getting onto those contacts in there, which is a, a source of quite common failure for mini lights. So it looks like this functions exactly the same as a regular incandescent mini light would with the leads that get bent down to pull out. Oh, and by the way, the other thing that's interesting I just noticed is that it looks like these are potentially in parallel, so you could take a bulb out and they stay lit. Well, that's exactly what's happening. Mm. So that kind of eliminates the concern of a, you know, a contact getting corroded and a whole string going mm. out. So these should probably be very reliable over time. So, I mean, that to me looks like you could very easily just extend the um, contacts and put it up higher. Yeah, I think it really depends on what the manufacturer of the LED makes. I don't know if these get cut down, like there's yeah. a machine that cuts them down. That's or, a good point. Um, or if that's just the way they are from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And maybe the manufacturer can make them a custom part. Um, that's not out of the question. I wouldn't be surprised if these already are a custom part. They, they may very well be. Uh, and just, I don't think this is going to show up, but this is hollow. Uh, but it's very thick, um, and it, it feels very sturdy. Yeah, I actually quite like this, and I am not one to like. Uh, I guess you I have the polarity backwards. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fifty-fifty chance, right? It's called an LED, you know, D for diode, as in current flows only one direction. Now it just flipped up in my hand, which was convenient, but I lost the orientation of which way I put it in. It's okay. Yeah, these are really a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I rather like this. If this came out in C9, I would seriously consider using it. I could, I can't afford to buy a bulk quantity at once, but um, I would consider using it outside for sure. I think they sent us some other goodies too that we can take a look at. Um, and maybe that's a separate video. I don't think so. Okay. Well, they sent us this cool sticker, so. Yeah, well, I mean, this, this string alone is a $30 value. Yeah. That's, you know, more than adequate. Yeah, so thank you very much for the lights. Uh, I love them. They look great. I so, really like the selection of the thin wire. I, that's, yeah, me too. I was, that's a really neat touch I was not expecting. You want to add any comments? Yeah, uh, I really noticed the, the thin wires as well. And what I'm really curious is after a season or two, you know how they hold up out there and they look they yeah. look like rugged and, and durable that i don't think that'll be an issue and and the fact that you talked about if something gets corroded they'll stay lit focus. yeah the only thing i don't like is that if you look at the bottom of this you can still see light coming through the bottom of the base so it's definitely not a hundred percent sealed some of the other ones i not led ones necessarily um, but older strings this will be like molded plastic in the bottom and the wires are in a molded plastic so there's no chance of water getting in there um, and those I feel like would definitely hold up outside uh, but you know time time will tell quite yep. possibly there these are resistant to the the corrosion the GEC sixes are like that like it goes all the yep. way flush mm -hmm. with the back that's what I was thinking of I mean this is definitely a good watertight connection mm -hmm. this has a um, like o-ring seal yeah this 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 would be good um, you're not going to get water in there a nice threaded connection um, yeah that's that's pretty cool this is definitely a uh, leaps and bounds improvement over the majority of other LED Christmas lights I've seen and I think to the average person I think um, they, they, they wouldn't know yeah this, unless this they could, stopped and really looked at it this could fool the average mm -hmm. person for sure yeah uh, okay that's what I thought so they put a white LED under the blue, which kind of makes sense. I wonder how many of them are white. Probably none, other than the uh, the blue. The blue. No, the green, the green ones are too. Is that right? So is it just the red one uh, that's colored? It's red. The red's kind of a pinkish almost. That's an interesting design choice. the The yellow one is yellow. The purple is also uh, a clear LED. Huh. Interesting. Just for the curiosity of it. 
What if we... <laughs> now it comes out okay. in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> what if we... Um, swap it? Yeah, what if we swap some of these lenses onto the different colors? I'm just curious what it would look like. Like putting the red, maybe? Yeah. Because there must have been a reason why that was done. Because I'm sure it's adding to the cost of the product to use different diodes. Yeah, because red is a lot cheaper uh, and green is a lot cheaper than a white LED. It's dimmer. Mm. Mm. That's odd. I was not expecting that. Mm. Well, I guess there was a reason why that was done. Huh. <laughs> That's a very strange uh, optical situation there. This is very, very well packed, too. Mm -hmm. And they uh, pack it with paper, so they're environmentally conscious, which yep. is cool. No annoying packing peanuts or anything like that. So we do, do we know if this is the final product? Because I know this is pre-release. Not or, sure. Or is this still like a like a beta kind of offering the, the um, test? I I think it's a it's like in trial period mm -hmm. right now. I don't I don't think it's it's uh, formally released yet. Yeah, it looks like it's in uh, right pre-production. I'll be yeah. curious if ultimately when it hits the market, like if this will be the, the packaging, which I hope they keep this because it'll this, be something like that. This is really nice. Yeah, I mean, the, it's colorful. The packaging they use is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, 0 0.09 the amps, 6 the watts, power factor 53. So that is a higher power consumption than other LED strings I've tested, but it's still a fraction of, you know, what a uh, an incandescent one is like 43 watts mm -hmm. typically for 100, so it's still a fraction of, of the wattage. What'd you say the power factor is? Uh, 54. Yeah, so it probably has a ringing choke converter because it has kind of a crappy power factor. It doesn't have like an active PFC or anything in there, mm -hmm. which, you know, that adds a significant amount of cost making power supplies that can do that. Right. And, you know, for this low draw in a residential application, does the power factor really matter? Not no, really. and a ringing choke converter is perfectly adequate for something like this. There's no, like, necessary transient now i'm just getting super nerdy here, so don't mind me <laughs> so you're going down from 43 watts to six watts that's huge yeah and you're not sacrificing much appearance at all no uh, which is not something you can usually say with the led i can't detect any flicker at all yeah this i bet you is, if we put an oscilloscope on it it would be a perfectly flat line this is a hundred percent um flicker free i can't believe i just said that but it actually is <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that about an LED before. There's no asterisk on the, on the no, back. No, there it's isn't. <laughs> There's no asterisk. It just says flicker free. And it actually is. It's not a lie. Nope, it is not a lie. Well, <laughs> come out with C9s. Oh, This I would buy. I would buy C9s for sure. And I am a C9 incandescent diehard. So it's, <laughs> Me too. Yeah, you'll That's, go down with that ship. That, yeah. that speaks volumes. For sure. Yeah. So true tone, C nines. Yeah, but this is this is a, a definitely a step in the right direction for sure. Running them on DC is is the way it's got to be. Mm -hmm. You like them? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> All right, that's pretty cool. Well, I'll have to find somewhere to put these this year and yeah, and uh, see how they look amongst the incandescents. Yeah, and I think what would be interesting is. Um, this time next year, if you use them this year, mm -hmm. um, check in a year later and just see. I should uh, put them outside somewhere. Yeah. See how they, see how they hold outside. up. Yeah. And True Tone might be interested in that feedback. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, revisit this if we get a C9 <laughs> sample. <laughs> Absolutely.